everyone, my name is Aarti and you are watching HW News. After days of delay in the Pegasus snooping case, the case seems to be moving ahead now. The Supreme Court is likely to set up a technical committee to probe the allegations of snooping of journalists, activists, etc. using the Pegasus spyware. The Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, on Thursday said that the court will pass the orders in the case next week. The CGI also told this orally to senior advocate Chandar Uday Singh who is appearing in one of the Pegasus petition while the latter was making a mention in another matter. The CGI said that the court wanted to pass orders this week, but it was deferred as some members of the technical committee the court had in mind expressed personal difficulties to be part of it. The CGI then said that the court will finalize the members of the technical committee soon and it will also pass orders next week. Singh said that he will inform this to senior advocate Kapil Sibyl, who is the lead counsel for the petitioners in the Pegasus snooping case. Now, the Pegasus snooping allegations led to a big controversy in India after it hit the news a day before the monsoon session of the parliament. The investigation into the Pegasus snooping revealed that as many as 50,000 phone numbers belonging to several individuals across the globe were on potential spying list using the Israeli spyware Pegasus. The list was first accessed by Paris-based Forbidden Stories. Later on, with the help of Amnesty Tech Lab, 16 media publications across the world published a series of stories detailing about the numbers that belonged to their country which appeared in the list. According to The Wire, who is Pegasus project partner in India, there were 300 Indians whose numbers appeared in the list, which indicated that they were persons of interest for those who were using Pegasus. These numbers belong to journalists critical of the government or those working on very sensitive stories, opposition leaders, businessmen, activists, bureaucrats, diplomats and even two sitting ministers including the IT minister himself. Now, the opposition's demand for a judicial probe into the matter led to one of the most disturbed parliament session this time around. On August 5th this year, the court took up the matter for hearing. The Supreme Court had on 17th of August issued a notice before admission to the central government in the batch of petition. On September 13th, a bench comprising CJ N. V. Ramana, Justice Surya Kant and Justice Hima Kohli reserved interim order in the Pegasus case after the central government expressed unwillingness to file an affidavit stating that whether it has used the Pegasus spyware or not. Now, Solicitor General who appears for the central government, Tushar Mehta, told the bench that the matter was related to national security and hence it cannot be made a subject matter of a judicial debate or a public discourse. He said that the government cannot reveal in an affidavit whether it has used any particular software for security purposes as it will alert the terror groups. Tushar Mehta further said that taking note of the seriousness of the allegation, the central government, however, has agreed to constitute a technical committee to examine the issue and said that this committee will submit a report to the court. Now, the bench had observed that it did not want any details pertaining to the national security or defense but was only seeking clarification regarding the allegations of snooping of civilians. We are not interested in knowing matters related to security or defense. We are only concerned to know whether the government has used any method other than admissible under the law Justice Surya Kant had said at that point of time. Now, the petitioners who were represented by senior advocates Kapil Sibyl, Sham Divan, Minakshi Arora, Rakesh Dwivedi, Dinesh Dwivedi, C.U. Singh, however, opposed this center's idea. They said that a committee which is constituted by the center cannot be expected to function in a fair and unbiased manner. According to the petitioners, NSO, the Israeli firm which developed Pegasus spyware, sells its services only to the governments. And when the government of India was under a cloud of suspicion, it cannot be expected to conduct a fair probe. Now, with the CGI has said that a technical committee will be set up by the court, one has to wait until next week to know how this case progresses further. Now, if you want to know earlier developments in this case, I'll be attaching in the description box, our earlier coverage of the Pegasus controversy. Do let us know what you think about this in the comment box below. Please do like this video and if you like the videos that we make, please send us super thanks. And if you wish to support our journalism, head to our website where we have detailed subscription plans we are offering. Last but not the least, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and become a part of the community that upholds 
to journalism thank you so much